Happy Mother's Day. Uh, I just returned to the Christian Renault Center uh, coming down uh, from visiting my mother on Mother's Day, uh, having a chance to uh, be with my family, and of course, having an opportunity to make an amazing pilgrimage uh, to many holy sites. Um, as you know, uh, right before my pilgrimage, I found out that the Christian Renewal Center, uh, that the Scantlin Foundation that owns uh, 21 of the acres at the CRC was going to sell the land. So the pilgrimage kind of came at the perfect point where I needed uh, some spiritual renewal myself, uh, and an opportunity to kind of disconnect uh, from the everyday of work and to really connect and hear God. Uh, during the pilgrimage, we made a Midwest pilgrimage um, and we were able to uh, travel to some of the sites of the USA Saints. I'm even wearing a shirt today, my Trailblazer missionary shirt. Uh, we got uh, Rose Philippine and Mother Theodore and Stanley Rother. Uh, so I actually had the chance to go and pray at the tomb of uh, St. Rose Philippine. Uh, I had the chance to pray at the tomb of St. Mother Theodore Gern. I had the chance uh, to pray at the tomb of Venerable Fulton Sheen. The chance to pray uh, uh, at, where, uh, at the tomb of Venerable uh, Bishop Baraga. I had the chance to pray at Blessed Solanus Casey. I had the chance to go to my own grandparents' uh, grave sites and to ask for their intercession and their prayers. I had the chance uh, to go to the church of my baptism where I was able to uh, recommit myself and reconsecrate myself to Christ. Um, and these uh, USA saints and our older brothers and sisters in the canonization process they uh, had such challenges and obstacles. You know, when you go up to the Upper Peninsula where the Great Lakes are, you see Bishop Baraga that would have come, you know, in the wilderness and how he was able to minister in a hundred mile radius. He was known as a snowshoe priest because they didn't have all the cars and the conveniences of the bridges like I did. Uh, to look at uh, Mother Theodore when she showed up and she's like, wait, this little log cabin is a house of God because she came from France where the churches were absolutely gorgeous. And she's like, there's no way that God of the universe can be in this little house, man, that God is so big. We have to build something even better for him. And Mother Theodore did. Or Rose Philippine who desired to minister to all the people, you know, and she, she wasn't able to learn the language of the people coming here. She wasn't able to learn English. She wasn't able to learn the language of the Native Americans, but she was able to pray. The pilgrimage for me uh, was, uh, I can't even tell you if you saw some of my videos that I shared, you saw the, some of the spiritual graces that I received on pilgrimage. Um, and it was just such a grace and a gift from God. And, you know, I needed that chance to really just listen to him and to, to allow the lives of the saints to speak to me. I also had the chance to go to the National Shrine of St. Joseph, Our Lady of the Snows, an absolutely gorgeous oblate facility with so many prayerful outdoor spaces. Uh, yes, I was a little envious of all their beautiful outdoor spaces. Um, and then I had the chance to go to the Marian Apparition, the only approved Marian Apparition in the United States at a regional level is in Wisconsin. So this was a fantastic pilgrimage. And that pilgrimage was really about my time of being. And if you've heard me give talks, you probably heard me say that you guys spend time being with the Lord so that you can do for the Lord. Uh, because we need to know what the Lord wants us to do and how we know what he wants us to do is in our prayer time, our time of being. So today as I'm driving back, um, specifically after I was able to visit my mother, it was about a three and a half hour drive back down to the Christian Renewal Center. And I'm just thinking about these saints and the challenges that they faced and how they just embraced the encounter and trusted in God's providence. And I know that's what I'm gonna to do too here at the Christian Renewal Center. And so I'm literally walking right here right now. This land that I'm walking by, that maintenance shop that we just walked by, all that is part of this 21 acre track that could just disappear and somebody else could buy it. And I'm committed. Every, every one of their places and their tombs, I literally had the prayer request asking for their intercession, that the land be donated or were able to raise the funds through donors to buy the land, to keep the entire 52 acre track of land together. And now here's what I wanted to show you. And the reason I'm walking right now, well one, I've been in a car a lot, but, and I love walking the grounds of the CRC. But what I wanna show you is we're gonna raise the funds or have it donated. And when that 21 acre land track is donated, it's actually gonna be uh, part of the 52 acre that we know that we have the future of the CRC. We're looking at saving the CRC's future, right? So we're gonna get that 52 acres, at, or the total track will be 52 acres, that 21 acres we'll get. And then right here, I've walked down the road where a lot of you do Stations of the Cross. Right here is where I have the plans for future Marian Grotto. Uh, this will give our groups a large outdoor space, so we'll build a Marian Grotto. It's gonna be beautiful. And then we're going to go, I got a mosquito right there. <laughs> That's a live action video. 
We're going to build the Marian Grotto. We're going to put the benches there. So that way people can pray individually or groups can come here and pray. And this is going to be our offering our Thanksgiving. So we're going to raise the money and get the land donated for the Christian Renewal Center. And then you and I are going to build this Marian Grotto, uh, giving thanks to Our Lady, uh, as well as not only just giving thanks to Our Lady, but ask thanking all those saints, the USA saints that have interceded for us to make this happen. Uh, the Christian Renewal Center, we're not known for having huge uh, pockets. We're not known for having donors that donate 20, 30, 40, 50,000, 100,000 dollars. But I believe there's enough of us together that love this holy ground and want to keep the sacred, beautiful grounds intact. And I believe that God's providence is going to provide for us to keep this holy ground together. And so I want to invite you to join me in prayer, asking for God's intercession, asking for God's providence, that the funding comes together, uh, that we're about to kick off tomorrow when I go to work. I'm going to be working on creating that campaign. You see these bags in these eyes. It's probably not good that I do the campaign tonight, but tomorrow I'm going to go because that is the mission that God has given me right now in my life. I can't tell you where my mission will be in 20 years from now, but I know right now that God brought me to the CRC for a specific person and got a specific reason and God brought me to the CRC for this time and place in history just like he brought every one of those saints to the place that they were supposed to be and if you're still watching this video you were meant in this time and place to watch this video maybe it's so you can offer up your prayers maybe you can offer up your daily sacrifices your illness your sufferings for this reason for this purpose that benefactors donors come forward to help us raise the funds because all of this land I want to keep at the Christian Renewal Center and why do I want to keep it because I want to make sure that people are able to come here and have an encounter with God in our sacred grounds and our sacred spaces. Not only do we want to build a Marion Grotto, we want to build a rosary hiking trail. We also want to build, we want to keep our road to allow for our additional parking. I know this video is getting crazy. I haven't had the sleep that I needed this last week, but I am high on God right now. And I want to invite you to continue journeying with me as you and I make our pilgrimage to heaven. You and I are on a pilgrimage and every single day we should be drawing closer to God, one more step closer to Him. So I want to encourage you to continue your pilgrimage. And I ask for your continued prayers for my pilgrimage and know that you're in my prayers for your pilgrimage. God bless.